We are almost ready to launch, but of course, if we're going to build an electron model, it has to look like the real thing. I spent a bunch of time creating decals that can be printed on regular paper. If you want to download them, there's a link in the description down below. Once I was done, I printed them out on regular 8.5 by 11 inch paper. The decals aren't 100% to scale, but if you want to use them, they do look pretty good at the model scale. Using a hobby knife, I cut them all up to prepare them for the vehicle. So the decals look good, but we still have some parts that are three-dimensional. These are things like stage connectors and hold-down points for the vehicle. Again, these are not really scale accurate, but they do look good at the model scale. After modeling them in CAD, I 3D printed them out. If you want these files, they're also in the description down below. All these parts are secured to the rocket using a medium CA superglue. First, I attached the hold-down points. Each of the points were attached roughly two centimeters from the bottom of the airframe. Next, I attached some of the decals. I used Scotch Super 77, which is a great adhesive for paper. After applying the Super 77 to the back of the paper, I kind of eyeballed and applied the electron text where it looked right. I did the same for the silver ring that goes around the bottom of the rocket. Next up, I applied the American flag and the silver fern that are on the real vehicle. Then I attached four of the little stage connectors at the bottom of the vehicle. These should actually be below the silver ring, but like I said, this isn't totally scale accurate. Some of the parts covered the TVC mount cutouts, so I moved the mount around to make sure it would be okay in flight. Then I did some rough scaling math. I figured out that the second silver ring should be roughly 34 centimeters from the bottom of the vehicle. I did a little more math to figure out where the top ring should go, and then I placed it there. After that, I placed the Rocket Lab company logo right below the second stage silver ring. Then I placed the eight other stage connectors. The first four go between the first and second stage, and the last four go between where the fairing and second stage would join. Finally, I designed and 3D printed a little engine bell section for the bottom of the vehicle. This part leaves just enough clearance so that the motor can still gimbal while giving the realism of the nine engines in the bottom of the first stage. Finally, after placing the motor in the mount, it's time to tune the rocket.